on CKCO TV. 50 great years of CKCO celebration. Here now, Diane Vermeule. Good evening and welcome to a very momentous occasion here at CKCO. We are celebrating our 50th anniversary. Tonight with our studio audience and with you at home, we are looking back at the people, programs and technology that are part of our history. From our archives, we're dusting off some old gems to show you. We are reminiscing with some well-known personalities from the past and we even have a few surprises for you. First off, we're going to have a look at the early days. Here's the very first thing that viewers saw when we went to air 50 years ago. CKCO TV, Channel 13, Kitchener, Waterloo. If you're lucky enough to own a television set, this is what you see on Channel 13, March 1st, 1954. These are the very first images broadcast on CKCO TV. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the opening ceremonies of our Kitchener-Waterloo television station, CKCO-TV. Announcer Winston Barron introduces owners Carl Pollock and the Mitchell and Little families, along with area mayors for the ribbon cutting. I officially declare CKCO-TV on the air. Pollock, who would soon become the sole owner, explains to viewers what to expect on this brand new medium. At this important time, we want you to know that it is our purpose to provide an entertainment and an educational service, which we hope will become a welcome and an interesting home companion for you. The speeches are followed by a short newsreel. There's a new vehicle cruising through the streets of Kitchener, Ontario this week, indicating something new for the area. It's the mobile unit of Canada's newest television station, CKCO-TV. With a building secured on King Street, a new transmission tower on Baden Hill just west of Kitchener, and all the necessary equipment, Canada's third privately owned television station is ready to reach its audience. The hope is that people will begin buying TV sets. The CBC Television Network. At first, CKCO is affiliated with the CBC, but network programming is limited, so the station quickly begins to develop its own local lineup. One of the earliest programs is the Elaine Cole Show, debuting in June 1954. A spokesperson for the Red Cross, station management, is impressed with her ease in front of the camera and offers her a daily slot. A weekday favorite is Come Into the Kitchen with Violet Scriver, affectionately known as Mrs. S. Uh -huh. You have to keep turning it around and around, Ridge. Her trusty helper in the kitchen is Reg Selner, who appears in numerous CKCO programs. Well, we'd like to meet the, uh, the president and secretary right now. I understand Mrs. A. Terran is the president. Would you like to stand up, Mrs. Terran? Almost all the shows are live and often feature a studio audience. Another daily favorite is Bazaar. Well, good afternoon. Pleasant Friday it is, too. We have, uh, we have to mention this. The girls from Smiles and Chuckles came down. There's Reg Selner again. Bazaar is a little bit talk show, game show, and just about anything else they could dream up. Here's a gem from the CKCO archives. It's the Billy O'Connor Show, featuring the Billy O'Connor Quintet and Sylvia Murphy. Hi, it's great to be back. Great to be back. Top-rated performers are featured on the Billy O'Connor Show. with big talent belting out favorite tunes. And from the beginning, news is a daily staple. First of all, let's take a quick look at the news highlights of the day. Al Hodge, a voice of authority, brings viewers all the daily happenings. Ontario was hit by a province-wide beer strike Thursday. Some breweries are strike-bound, and the warehousing company, which distributes beer to all outlets in the province, is tied up. Although CKCO is the little station in Kitchener, it's thinking big, personalities with impressive talent, and programming that's creative, informative, and entertaining. Keep candy Andy. We'll see you Monday 3. Bye now. 50 years later, we have some of the original players here with us on the far left. Bill McGregor, Reg Selner, who hosted many programs at CKCO-TV, and Gary McLaren, a stalwart in our news department through five decades. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, Bill, you were in a bit of a race to get us to air. Why is that? 
Well, the first one, first station that was on, occur, uh, appeared in <clears throat> November of 1953, and that was in Sudbury. Then there was a race to be number two, and we were in a race with the London station, uh, with the London operator, and uh, they won by, <laughs> I think, a month. Mm -hmm. Reg Selner, you started shortly after that. Do you have any idea how many shows it is that you hosted over the years? Oh, Lord. No. <laughs> no. I think it's over 20, maybe more. At least, yeah, 20 different shows. We, uh, back then, you, uh, you were not brought on as a news broadcaster or a sports broadcaster. You were brought on as a broadcaster. <clears throat> And so whatever came up, you did. Is it true there was a sports fellow who had to put on a costume for a children's show? Oh, yes. Tom Rafferty? Oh, sure. <laughs> he was? Wally the Walrus. Wally the Walrus. Yeah. Did he like wearing that costume? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, how would you like to sit around for a half hour a day with a bunch of kids in a costume going, uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> That's what he did. Gary, you started in 1957, and I want to warn you, we have an entire segment coming up on news. We have some great old photos of you. You came from radio. Since TV news was brand new, how did you know what to do? There was no model. Well, the CBC had been on the air uh, for several years. Plus, when I came in 57, Al Hodge, our news director at that time, had been here for two or three years. So there was kind of a body of experience to, uh, to follow up on. But I think it's safe to say that a lot of the things we did, we kind of uh, felt our way along, and uh, they seemed to work out all right. And as the technology got more advanced, we started to venture a little further. We're going to push ahead now into the 60s, 70s, and beyond. It is a time of unprecedented growth for CKCO-TV, with our personalities and programs laying a stake in the Canadian broadcasting landscape. By the mid-60s, CKCO-TV is well established with viewers in southwestern Ontario. And its local programs and personalities are the reasons why. Boomers grow up with Big Al Jones, who hosts an assortment of shows over the years, Cartoon Capers, Big Al's Fort, and Big Al's Ranch Party. Another favorite is the weekly Canadian Bandstand, at first hosted by Wally Crowder, then Reg Selner, and finally Grant Hoffman, known to teenagers as Grantley. The King Street Studios are a busy place. Few other local Canadian television stations can rival the volume of shows produced at CKCO. The fairy tale picture of the farm family living happily ever after in rural Ontario is just that, a fairy tale. Oh, so The network provided so much programming and we had to fill the rest of the time and that's how many of these shows were dreamed up. So how did you come up with these ideas? Phil McGregor. The network provided a limited amount of programming. It really wasn't that much. And the stations then, if they wanted to be on the air, and that was one of the issues, how long would you be on the air? So if the station wanted to be on the air for more than a few hours beyond the network times, they had to create the programming to fill that. Was there a favorite show you liked working on? Well, there was one that, that I was on, involved in for a while in 1958-59, and that was Canadian Bandstand on Saturday afternoon. I don't know whose brainchild it was. I suspect it was this fellow <laughs> sitting to my, my right. My favorite show was one that was important to Reg. 
that started in the very early days of the oh, station. Gosh, yeah. It was a Sunday, oh, yeah. a Sunday evening show. Mm -hmm. It was a musical show. It was called Sunday Serenade. Yeah. One of those voices was nice enough that Reg married her. Well, I said that we're going to have a few surprises, and we have one now for you. Uh, we are very fortunate to have in our studios Walter Ostenek. How are you? Hi, Walter. Who hosted Polka Time for many, many years, starting in the 70s to the 80s, with That's a little right. break in between. That's right. You have won three Grammys. Yes. You've had 16 nominations, Order of Canada, and a star on the Canadian Walk of Fame. Do you think that the show on CKCO TV had anything to do with all your success? No questions about it, because I had a chance to southern Ontario. I, I think I played every little town, arenas, and uh, especially when they were uh, uh, condemning a lot of the arenas and tearing them down and building them up. And uh, I was there to do charity uh, uh, benefit uh, places, uh, dances, and so on. And uh, uh, I was quite popular in Ontario, but like uh, the rest of Canada, never heard of me. So I <laughs> have to say that uh, the television station had a lot to do with it. Do you know, of all the different shows that we did where we had live audiences, yes. I have to say that your fans were the most loyal. In fact, around here, the staff at CKCO used to refer to your fans as the Polka Time groupies. Why do you think they love the show so much? I don't know. I think it was just a good time and camaraderie, pe pe people meeting more other people and uh, like I said I can remember being here and we'd have three feet of snow outside they were there they would come they would come and we, they were there for four shows because we always recorded four shows in one day and you're a consummate professional and you got through all of that yes and I remember also that we had to be finished by five o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon because the news was coming on right. at six <laughs> You agreed to play for us today. What are you going to play? Well, I have my, my band behind me and backup <laughs> singers. Uh, naturally, we're in Oktoberfest uh, territory, so what else? I'll let you take us into the commercial. Roll out the barrel. We'll have a barrel of fun. Roll out the barrel. We've got the blues on the run. Sing the Torero. Being here. Thank you. And when we come back, it's news you can count on and some more faces from the past. the CKCO 50th Anniversary Gala, celebrating with staff past and present. Paul, describe for me uh, your best moment at CKCO. What was the best thing about working there? <laughs> the best thing about working there? The opportunities that they gave me. They, they, to a large degree, let me do what I wanted to do as long as it made interesting TV. And that was a great opportunity that I look back and say, not too many places would do that. Uh, and, and it served me well in, in later years. It was, it was a great opportunity. 50 great years, a CKCO celebration will return. Summer is the time for sandals, and the Superstore has the perfect pair for the whole family. Comfort, style, and quality. The best brand name sandals at tax-free savings. All at the Superstore. Protect your family and home from the sun with a McDonald awning. Custom manufactured in Kitchener using precision European hardware. Choose your style and color and let McDonald awnings do the rest. Call McDonald awnings for a free estimate or visit our Kitchener showroom. Whatever your reason for losing weight, Weight Watchers meetings can help you work toward your goal. It's been proven. People lose three times more weight on Weight Watchers than they do on their own. For a meeting near you, call 1-888-LOSE-WEIGHT and ask about our free little book of big savings.
The breathtaking scenery, the exhilarating experience, and the incredible fun. Sundance Balloons wants to take you on a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Your spirits will be instantly lifted as a hot air balloon takes you up into the clouds. A hot air balloon ride is the perfect gift for that hard-to-buy-for person. Local flights are available in Kitchener, Waterloo, and London, so give us a call today or visit our website. Sundance Balloons. We make dreams come true. So what floor do you live on? I live down the hall, 22B. Are you the guy in the corner apartment? Yeah. You should really think about closing your blinds. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, we're moving! Oh. Good thinking. Fast Tostitos. We should do this more often. Yeah. Everyone loves the light, crunchy taste of Tostitos bite-sized rounds. They're perfect for dipping. So you see everything? Yeah. Right. Meet you at the Tostitos. Love to get back your hair's fullness and strength? New from Pantene, introducing Full and Thick. Created for millions of women with thin hair, the amplifying Pantene Pro V system penetrates deep into every strand. Hair looks thicker and stronger in 10 days, guaranteed. Now you're looking full and thick again. New Pantene Full and Thick. That's the beauty of healthy looking hair. 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration is brought to you by the Super Store. For the best brand name sandals, the Super Store. Comfort, style, and quality for the whole family. In the early days of television, sometimes it was hard telling the difference Four. between the programming the and the commercials. Yes, you wouldn't want to be caught without... It wasn't unusual to see a news anchor or the host of a program make a pitch for a sponsor. Those are the sport headlines. You know, friends, you live as it breathes if you have a Dunlop pillow foam Viscount. With no guidelines to go by, advertising logos were plastered just about everywhere. It would take a few years before standards were established. 50 great years, a CKCO celebration continues. Here again, CKCO's Diane Verniel. From the beginning, news coverage has been part of the daily programming here at CKCO-TV. While the faces and the tools of the trade have changed over the years, what remains constant is a daily commitment to bring viewers news they can count on. Good evening and welcome to edition number 33 of Weekend Journal. Television news is a pretty bland affair in the early days. It usually features a man sitting behind a desk reading that day's current events, sports, and weather. No teleprompter, no women, and no fancy set. If the film can be shot in processed in time for the 6 o'clock deadline, viewers get to see pictures that go with the information. Don Wilcox, 13 News, reporting from the International Plowing Match. Many of the early anchors and reporters make the leap from radio and newspapers to the new medium of television. In the mid-70s, Ron Johnston is at the helm as CKCO ventures into an unprecedented expansion. The broadcast signal is split so viewers in the southwest and to the north get a separate local newscast. The Scan News Hour. Good evening, I'm Pamela McKenzie. And I'm Ron Johnston. CKCO-TV becomes a dominant news-gathering presence in southwestern Ontario. Throughout the years, our cameras are there to capture breaking stories. ...follows the Premier's call for a wage restraint among civil servants. Under the news umbrella, there's News Scope in the late 70s. And welcome once again to Sunday AM. Sunday AM in the early 80s. Agri-news for rural viewers. And Mr. Peterson, you've had a chance to take a little look at the plowing match. And then province-wide, making its debut in 1985. Tonight, a special edition of CKCO News at 6. Stratford, the festival at 50. CKCO is there delivering hometown news, sports and weather to viewers, giving local newsmakers a voice and going after the big players too. 
We have a blast from the past for you now. Joining us are Ron Johnston, who anchored our news from the mid-70s to the mid-90s, Jeff Hutchison, sports anchor, and other duties here at CKCO from the mid-70s to the late 90s, and weatherman Dave McDonald, who started at CKCO four decades ago in 1969. Wow. <laughs> good intro. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Ron, you anchored the news for 18 years. Are there yes. any experiences, any stories that stand out for you? Any news stories? Stories uh, over that length of time, boy, they all just kind of blend together, I think. But uh, uh, the one thing I, I, I recall is we just had such a, a passion for covering everything uh, that was of, of interest to our viewers and, and important to our viewers. Yeah. Now, Jeff, you started the same year that Ron did in 1976. Uh, in the <laughs> yeah, late 90s, right. you that's joined right. Canada AM, and now yep. we get to see yep. you on network TV every yep. day. Uh, you had quite a few duties here at CKCO. Well, you know, I had a, I had the, you know, this was a, a great place to work, and it was and is, and I'm sure, and it was it was tough to leave here because when I left, I didn't actually go to Canada I'm initially. I went to radio down the street in town here, I, but it was tough to leave. But it was, you know, my time to go. But when I was here, besides being sports director, I mean, we did shows with Bill Link all like Blue Jays Banter, which actually aired, I believe, for a dozen years. Um, there was History Canada, and I'm leaving Bowling for Dollars for the end. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was, and I mean. I was able to do an Olympics when I was here as well. Uh, so, I mean, I, I was so lucky in that I got to, you know, expand my wings when I was here. And that's something that's kind of helped me now in what I'm doing now. But, I mean, if, if, if you talk about, I still get people now uh, coming up to me. And, and Bill Inkel did this for longer than I did. And I get people coming up to me going, you're the guy from Bowling for Dollars, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you are. Yeah, no, and I am, and I always will be. And I stopped doing that show in 1992. So, I mean, you Did know, Did you enjoy that experience? Doing the show? Yeah. Taping, uh, well, you know, Bowling for Dollars at, at, was never live. I mean, so we would tape it. And at the end, we would get down to taping. Uh, we would do nine shows on a Friday and a Saturday. So we would tape three shows on Friday night, go home and tape six shows on Saturday. And, you know, by the time you're in the middle of the... Uh, <laughs> Did you know we were doing this? And then, by the t <laughs> and then by the time we were in the middle of the fifth show, I didn't know or care where you were from, <laughs> who you brought, or what you were bowling for. But <laughs> and what's astounding, the ratings on that show. Well, you know, we were just... I uh, just checked these numbers because, yeah. you know, TV's kind of a world of numbers, but our newscast at 6 o'clock Saturday... And by the way, on Saturday at 6.30, it used to be Bowling for Dollars. Sunday at 6.30, it used to be Polka, polka time. time. So it was a one-two punch. Yeah. But our numbers, and they were very respectable for news, were about 130,000. I mean, that's a very obsequious number to throw out there. But when bowling would start, they'd go up to 180,000. Mm -hmm. So... You were yeah. more popular than the news. I waited 20 years to say that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all watch, Touch. We all watch. Now, Dave McDonald, mm. doing the weather a very long time, since the late 60s. That's right. A little bit of a break off in between there in the early 80s. Yeah, that's right, for a couple of years, yeah. So people have been blaming you for the weather for a very long time. You know, uh, Johnny Walters, when he did the weather the time I was away, he said, you know, I could have been a diesel mechanic. I chose weather. Um, <laughs> but then if you're a diesel mechanic, people wouldn't blame you for anything except if the truck broke down. That would be better. But, no, it's been a good, uh, good time. I enjoy it when the people come up to me and talk to me about it. And, uh, you know, they always uh, say, well, you know, can you make it any better today, Dave? And I always say, no, I'm only sales not management uh, so you know it's basically uh, that's uh, it's been it's been great and uh, I just love the job I yeah. want to ask all of you about the nature of celebrity and living in a community this size because people do treat you like you're famous they mm. see you on TV I want to bring Reg and Gary into this too uh, tell me about that you're out in the community you get recognized people treat you like you're famous do you feel famous no mm. I don't think so there's an old story about about the guy that started in television it kind of happened to me it happened to most of the people here, it happened to Johnny Walters, I know. You're in a supermarket and pushing your cart around and so forth, and a couple of ladies are looking at you from the other side, and they say, Gee, you know, they kind of recognize me, you know. <laughs> That's kind of... That happened you know, to you, too? Kind of really, yeah, it happened to me, too. <laughs> kind of feels, uh, you know, feels pretty good. And then all of a sudden, one lady comes walking over towards you. She's a good-looking one. And you say, oh, okay. She says, she says, excuse me, but you've got my cart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You so, know, that, that's a great <laughs> level. Here. That used to happen more than the other way. Well, and you know, I think uh, even it, with my job now and, and when I was here, I think it only means one thing if people come up to you and say something, and that means they're watching, mm -hmm. and that's what you want them to do. And if you think it means anything other than that, then, you, you know, you're, that's the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. People recognize anyone who's been yeah. on the air because they're watching and we've become their friends, and they feel comfortable enough in coming up and saying hello or recognizing you're saying something. But that's all it is. It means that they're watching. And uh, so, you know, you're almost in a business where you, you don't and want people to stop coming up because right. it means they're not watching it. And, and they, they feel that uh, you're a friend more than right. anything else. I, I know that I, I don't think I ever felt like local celebrity. You're the only celebrity that That's right, we've yeah. ever had, Hodgman. <laughs> but uh, you're, you're in people's living rooms each evening uh, delivering the news or the weather or the sports, and uh, they just relate to you and feel like they can just come yeah. up and talk to you. And that's probably the, the most interesting thing that uh, occurred to me way back when, when grocery store things started happening. Sure. It was like, oh, I have to be careful because I'm representing the television station basically wherever now, I go. Now, I have a story. Well, I have a story. <laughs> I think it's, it's probably, it's it's probably the, the same, same story. story. <laughs> Should we get a, a neutral no, third party observer? Are you going to clean it up a little? Uh, well, no, I'll tell you. I was, it I was at the Blue Moon. Yes. Oh, oh, that's a story. I was at the Blue Moon Hotel in St. Petersburg. What were you doing there? Well, I was having dinner. And I had a designated driver. And so I was, anyway, to make yes. a long story short, I tripped into somebody's table. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, I just, the food was everywhere. And yes. I'm sort of lying on the table, and the lady goes, You're Ron Johnson, aren't you? And I said, Yes, I am. It's <laughs> true. A number of people who got their start here at CKCO TV have gone on to assignments elsewhere, not just Jeff, including this person who has a special greeting for us. Hello and congratulations on 50 years. Uh, I, I certainly consider myself one of the lucky ones to have worked at CKCO. It was actually my first job in television and I'll never forget the day. I was working in radio, which at the time shared a newsroom with television. And I know it sounds cliche, but a reporter called in sick and the assignment editor of that day, probably Jim Alexander, uh, said, hey kid, you wanna try your hand at TV? Of course I did, and my very first television news story was a psychic fair at the Hoother Hotel. I think I've been associated with CKCO my whole life because I grew up watching CKCO, and then, funnily enough, you know, as time goes by, I've uh, worked there, you know, for 20 years. And so, uh, it's like my whole life has been associated with this television station, and, uh, and I'm proud of that. What, for you, is the best thing about working at CKCO? Well, surprisingly, Diane, I've been here for almost 20 of those 50 years, and I'm very proud of the way we serve the community with our local news. I'm very proud of it. I think we have a great team, and we have a good time doing it, and here's to us. 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration. We'll be right back. Introducing an entrance-making fan of lashes, new Fantastic Lash Mascara. It takes everyday lashes, fans them, and expands them. A lash fanning brush separates one by one. New Fantastic Lash Mascara. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. With its incredibly capable four-wheel drive system, Jeep Liberty lets nothing get in the way of your daily commute. Whatever your reason for losing weight, Weight Watchers meetings can help you work toward your goal. It's been proven. People lose three times more weight on Weight Watchers than they do on their own. 
For a meeting near you, call 1-888-LOSE-WEIGHT and ask about our free little book of big savings. Mommy. You've been through this before. Mommy. Oh, honey, you're burning up. Your child has a high fever and can't sleep through the night. Fortunately, there's children's Motrin. Just one dose can help bring that fever down fast and keep it down for up to eight hours. Hi, Mom. Children's Motrin, eight-hour fever relief, now available dye-free. Be out in a minute. Take your time. Try new Herbal Essences Conditioner with Hawafina. <laughs> you'll love the organic experience, so you'll stay in the shower twice as long or longer. I was this close to leaving. Herbal Essences now with Hawafina. Protect your family and home from the sun with a McDonald awning. Custom manufactured in Kitchener using precision European hardware. Choose your style and color and let McDonald awnings do the rest. Call McDonald awnings for a free estimate or visit our Kitchener showroom. Summer is the time for adventure, both on land and in the water. And the Shooper Store can take you there in style. You'll find all the best brand name sandals at tax-free savings. Summer Adventures, the Shooper Way. You all want some life, the Shooper Store. A longtime presence at CKCO TV was broadcaster Betty Thompson. She joined the station in the late 50s, enjoyed a national profile as the host of Romper Room, and continued to make her mark in a variety of lifestyle programs. Betty ventured out from beyond the camera to reach out to her community, volunteering and fundraising for countless charities. Betty fought a battle with cancer, passing away in 1994. On this 50th anniversary, we remember Betty. You're watching 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration. We couldn't produce a 50th anniversary show without looking at an essential factor in television that makes it all possible for us to do our jobs, and that is the technology. The images you see on CKCO TV wouldn't be possible without the technical devices and crew to operate them. When CKCO goes to air in 1954, there's no live cameras, no studio, and no microwave link to the network. But that soon changes as the station gears up to begin broadcasting its own locally produced programs. Just about every show is live. The only way to save a program is on a device called a kinescope. A film camera is pointed at a TV monitor to record the image. And the result, as you can see, is not that great. Every day, news cameramen are in a race against time. Their film must be shot and returned to the station by mid-afternoon to be processed, which takes a couple of hours. In the early 70s, a revolution sweeps TV production, videotape. Created by Ampex and CBS Labs, this magnetic tape allows recorded messages to be played back immediately. It completely changes the nature of TV news gathering and production. Photographers can shoot more because videotape is cheaper, and the quick turnaround means deadlines are pushed back. David Emery, CKCO News, Kitchener. In the mid-90s, CKCO secures a live mobile. Now to CKCO's Randy Steinman, live at the Odd tonight, home to a big matchup. Randy. Viewers are able to see live events during a newscast. For reporters in the early years, the typewriter is the workhorse of the newsroom, with information coming in on teletypes from newswire services. But by the early 90s, computers replace both, making writing and rewriting an easier task. And in our art department, sketches on a draft board for program titles and sponsorship logos are replaced by high-tech equipment that allows our artists to create images on a computer screen. So with all the different innovations over the years, I'm going to ask Bill McGregor, what do you think was the most important one? I guess videotape was probably the, by far the most important one. Uh, color, of course, because when we started, we, we didn't have color. I guess from the station's point of view, perhaps, the expansion that you mentioned earlier, uh, the years when, when we suddenly were uh, broadcasting to the Georgian Bay region and to southwestern Ontario, Sarnia, Chatham, uh, Windsor, uh, those were important. I'll ask Gary in the news department, when you saw videotape come in, how did that change things for you on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, enormously. Um, in 1957, when I started, we used black and white 16-millimeter film, which was processed 
four o'clock each afternoon by a private lab run by John Colombo. And which we'd drop the film off, he'd process it, it would be picked up in, in time for the six o'clock news. Now, if something happened that we wanted to cover after four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, you didn't see it on television until six o'clock the next day. Uh, then later we got our own lab, and that meant we could uh, process film almost any time. And then we got into color film and, and sound. But videotape meant uh, it changed our whole thinking, you know, from uh, uh, what was perhaps a couple of hours to process film to, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So it, it was a tremendous improvement. Ron, we got the live eye when you were on the air. Mm -hmm. How did you like that? That was tremendous because you could actually go live to the stories or create an event in, in some cases by just being there live. And uh, that, uh, that was a whole new dimension for us uh, at CKCO, for sure. When we come back, we're going beyond the regular programming into special broadcasts. CKCO's journalists are exceptional, and in the last five years, the station has received seven awards from the Radio Television News Directors Association. My colleagues from Southern Ontario and I joined the house, congratulating the entire team at CKCO Television for 50 years of top-notch award-winning programming. As you celebrate this special milestone, each of you can take pride in your contributions to the community you serve so well. I know that CKCO TV will continue to inform and entertain its viewers, and I wish it every success now and in the years to come. That is signed, the Right Honorable Paul Martin, Prime Minister of Canada. Summer is the time for sandals, and the Superstore has the perfect pair for the whole family. Comfort, style, and quality. The best brand name sandals at tax-free savings. All at the Superstore. When you switch to Primus for your long distance, you'll be joining the hundreds of thousands of Canadians who've made the move to lower rates. You'll enjoy great rates as low as five cents a minute to Canada and the U.S., or six cents a minute to the U.K., or 49 cents a minute to India. But one of the best things about joining Primus is that whenever you make long-distance calls, from home and now from your cell, you'll be earning Air Miles Reward Miles. That's right. Call Primus right now and you'll earn 100 reward miles just for becoming a customer. Plus, you'll earn one reward mile for every $5 of monthly spending. For a lot of customers, that's about 10 reward miles a month. So call toll-free right now, 1-877-703-3430. Or sign up online at primustel.ca. You'll get great rates as low as 5 cents a minute to anywhere in Canada and the U.S. And reward miles. Just for making the calls you'd be making anyway. That's 1-877-703-3430. Three zero. When you're talking Primus, you're talking Air Miles. Whatever your reason for losing weight, Weight Watchers meetings can help you work toward your goal. It's been proven. People lose three times more weight on Weight Watchers than they do on their own. For a meeting near you, call 1-888-LOSE-WEIGHT and ask about our free little book of big savings. Summer is the time for adventure, both on land and in the water. And the Shooper Store can take you there in style. You'll find all the best brand name sandals at tax-free savings. Summer Adventures, the Shooper Way. You all want summer life, the Shooper Store. A woman of mystery wouldn't like her volume mascara to clump and spike. Try new CoverGirl Fantastic Lash High Volume Mascara. It takes everyday lashes, expands them, and fans them. A lash fanning brush unclumps as it separates one by one. For a full fan of breathtaking, entrance-making lashes. Forget the spike. Here's one you'll like. New Fantastic Lash. The lash fanning mascara from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. 
we return to 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration. Here again, CKCO's Diane Verniel. Besides the usual programs that viewers tune in for, CKCO TV has tackled a number of special broadcasts over the years. We've also seen quite a few VIP guests visit our studios. Over the years, CKCO TV has hosted an impressive list of special visitors who stopped by for interviews at our King Street studios. of the grandstand performance for this year. I just wish the cameras could have had all of it. This film marked your debut as a director, Mr. Heston. Welcome to the program, Flora. And, and along with the regular programming, there's a long like list of special broadcasts over the years. Item number 319 from T&O Inn and 50 Weaver Street North in Waterloo, a voucher to the value of $45. Value $45, compliments of T&O Inn, we have a current bid of $47. And as the weather heats up, so does the topless debate. From CKCO Action News, a special town hall debate going topless in Ontario. A Christmas Symphony featuring the Kitchener Waterloo Symphony, conducted by Brian Jackson. And a penguin from the North Pole, along with the reindeer. This guy's got a busy month ahead of him. He sure does. He doesn't have a moment to spare it. Grant that they may receive good news of great joy in the coming of our Savior, and through the care and compassion we offer in his name. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Welcome back to the final round. We have, a, we have a great audience, as you can see. The cortege now making its way from Kitchener Gospel Temple along uh, River Road to Ottawa Street, then over to Franklin. From on location at Resurrection Catholic Secondary School in Kitchener, senior high school students from across Waterloo Region and beyond gather to discuss Crunch Time, the double cohort. In Kitchener at Waterloo, a tight race, Barry, but Sean's keeping up. And before we get some analysis, we're going to go to the Whitmer camp and our Franklin. All right, Janine, lots of folks starting to file in here tonight for what they hope will be a celebration later on. One of them is former uh, Waterloo Mayor Joan McKinnon. When it comes to the special broadcast, do any of you have any favorites? The first shopping mall in Kitchener, we did a remote with the famous players remote unit. From Frederick Street, uh, we did the opening of the Highway 401. And I can remember one year, I'm not sure what the year is, but it was just before Christmas on a cold night. There was a fire downtown Kitchener. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in the block between Queen and Benton Street. And uh, being we didn't have small equipment at that time handheld, we moved the whole unit down the street, a complete mobile unit, got up on the roof, uh, Bill was up there that night, I remember, pulling cable <laughs> and doing all kinds of things, and uh, I was brought along. The arena on Queen Street had burnt down. Uh, Zellers went, but we were on the air live. We stopped programming, and we went right on the air. Uh, the for Canadian several, Open. For several hours, right? For several time. hours. Mm -hmm. We just, you know, clear the airwaves. Well, you know, uh, the, other, the other thing, too, that strikes me is uh, how big the Oktoberfest parade has come. And, you know, CKCO has carried that for years and years. And now, you know, it's become Canada's national Thanksgiving Day Parade. Absolutely. The, you know, and the opening ceremonies of Oktoberfest and the uh, pageant when they had it. And those were some of the great live things. You know, I just, when Reg is talking about bouncing satellite dishes, really until we got this microwave truck in the, the, mid, the early mm -hmm. 1990s, yeah. it was almost impossible for, for us, even for a news item, to leave the station without hooking up a huge microwave dish to hit sure, another one, right. to hit another one. I mean, it was really, that really yeah. advanced things here quite a bit, because it was very difficult. I don't think people realize how difficult it was. A lot of work. Just do something on the spot mm -hmm. is tremendously difficult. Now, you talk about special broadcasts, and you, you mentioned parades. I, I think I did uh, hundreds of Santa Claus parades yeah. in almost <laughs> every community across uh, southwestern Ontario. We did Kitchener, we did London, we did Cambridge, we did, I think we... Went up to Bracebridge one year, just one year, 
and did that parade, it was, yeah. it was pretty small. But uh, the community feel of the television station was all about getting out and covering the things that were important to the people in the communities and, and therefore the folks that were watching at home. Is there any TV station out there that did as many parades as we did? I doubt it. No, <laughs> I seriously doubt it. One we thing that we also did. And we always, they always made us sit on the street. It's minus 25 and you have to sit on the street. You know, why? Well, for the ambience. <laughs> yeah. One thing that we've covered ambient. for years Fingers. and years too is the Kinsman <laughs> Auction. How long have we been doing that? Oh, gosh. 49 years, I saw a sign just the other day. Yep. Both Reg and I worked it in the early days for several years. Back in 55, and then yes. we did one in Chatham for a couple of years. For several years, we did one in Chatham, mm -hmm. uh, and it's still going on. I think and it's the, JCs, the, the uh, longest. Not the JCs, with Kiwanis Club. Kiwanis. It's, it's the Kiwanis longest Club. Yeah, continually run TV program in Canada, I think, now. I think so. We've had quite a few important and famous people come into our studios. Gary, you've interviewed quite a few prime ministers, Pierre Trudeau to Brian Mulroney. Were they very different? Uh, yes, Mulroney was uh, very oh. affable, uh, very friendly. Trudeau was very cerebral and somewhat intimidating. You didn't know whether you'd ask him a question that he think was stupid and he'd cut you down. <laughs> but both were interesting. But you know, a guy like McLaren, we always figured he was one of the best news people in the business because, you know, he, he could talk to anybody, anywhere. But he had a bit of another side to him, too. I remember doing the weather one night before we had the computers, and I was at live weather board. And I mentioned the word snow, and there's McLaren behind the weatherboard, unbeknownst to me, with a great big box full of styrofoam beads, <laughs> and he throws them over the top of the weatherboard, and they all start floating down. <laughs> you know? So this is the kind of thing that went on in the early days. And, you know, Gary had a bit of a humorous side to him as well. Things that people didn't see. Didn't see. Didn't know it was him. I knew. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there, there were a lot of things that people didn't see that went on uh, back no. in those days as Reg from. <laughs> Thankfully, they didn't see a lot of this things. Is true. Right. <laughs> Harmless, but not to the person to whom they were being done. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that is 100% true, because I worked 10 years of weekends doing sports, that when we would sit there in our red jackets... <laughs> <laughs> but I would literally wear gym shorts underneath, and my coat would come down over top of my gym shorts, so when I walked into the studio every day to do it, it looked like I wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> when we come back, strange fashions, bad hair, and yes, we're going to talk about those red jackets. Describe for me what is the best thing about having worked at CKCO. Probably that one pivotal moment in broadcast history. Uh, for me, it was a life-changing thing, and that was when I was able to retire that red jacket, and I could wear the gray one. We moved from red to gray, and it was just uplifting. It was great. We'll return to 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration in a moment. In the morning with remoldable physique precision wax, your hair is wow. By the evening without physique, your hair is yikes. With physique precision wax, you get hair that's extremely remoldable. Try doing that with gel. So it lasts hours longer than leaving salon gels. Longer lasting style of flexible remoldable physique precision wax. Part of the hair care collection from physique. Introducing the new MBNA Canada Travel Rewards Credit Card. It has everything you want, and by everything, we mean everything. Want to fly free, anytime? Check. Fly virtually anywhere in the world? Check. Tired of being tied into just one airline? Check. Now you can fly when you want, with no blackout periods. Earn miles faster thanks to free extra cards with no additional annual fees. Want a bonus of 5,000 points as soon as you use your account to make a purchase? Check again. The new MBNA Canada Travel Rewards Card lets you fly faster by offering free additional cards. And with your 5,000 bonus points, you're well on your way. You'll even get help with travel plans and accommodations with no booking fees. Get the new MBNA Canada Travel Rewards Platinum Plus MasterCard, the card that has everything you want and nothing you don't. Call now. 1-800-419-8686. So it's three o'clock and you're thinking about a good for you snack. Imagine the great taste of Special K. Together with the sweet taste of mixed berries and peaches. Or cranberries and apples. 
All in a yogurty drizzled bar with less than 100 calories. Two new special K bars, peach berry and cran apple. Keep it simple. Summer is the time for adventure, both on land and in the water. And the Schuper Store can take you there in style. You'll find all the best brand name sandals at tax free savings. Summer Adventures, the Schuper Way. Protect your family and home from the sun with a McDonald awning. Custom manufactured in Kitchener using precision European hardware. Choose your style and color and let McDonald awnings do the rest. Call McDonald awnings for a free estimate or visit our Kitchener showroom. The 70s and the 80s were a unique time for fashions and hairstyles and we've got the videotape to prove it. And we also thought we'd take a nostalgic look back at those red jackets. The 50s are chic, tailored, and elegant. Not just the people on the air, but look at how the audience comes dressed for a live show. The 60s make way for a mod look. Take the ribbon from my hair. And then come the 70s. From the What Were We Thinking file, remember Hot Pants? This was a music special. The 70s is a hotbed of garment gambles and hair hazards. And then along come the 80s, proving that size counts. It's big hair, big jewelry, and big shoulders. And for more than 20 years, CKCO's news anchors are dressed in bright red jackets, giving them instant recognition, standing apart from other news personalities on the dial. The jackets are favored by some, while loathed by others. In 1989, they're finally retired and replaced by gray jackets. Well, the obvious question is, why? Why did our anchors wear those red jackets? <laughs> Jeff is pointing that way. Yeah, we have to ask Bill that question. Okay. In the mid-1960s, when color television began, there was a problem, not a real problem, but there was a competitive uh, problem, and that was that every television station looked alike. If you went across the dial at 6 o'clock, one after the other, they all sat there and... In this. In this. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanted your people to stand I out. I wanted to be able to stand out in that crowded television arena. They weren't the first jackets, though, right? We had oh, plaid no. and no. we have gold. The first. Yeah, gold. Yeah. Gold was the first and then blue. Okay. Uh, followed that and there were gray came in there somewhere. Gray, gray was the after red. Yeah. I know that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Ron, you wore one for a very long time. Yes, I recall when I was offered the, uh, the position and the opportunity to anchor at CKCO, and I'd grown up watching the television station. The first question I asked uh, Don Wilcox, who offered me the job, was, do I have to wear one of those, I said, stupid red jackets? Uh -oh. <laughs> and that was in 1976. And he said, yes, that goes along with a paycheck. So I said, hmm, OK, I'll wear one of those. And I thought, it could only last for a few more years. Yeah. It lasted till, what, the Early 90s, I think we finally... Until the last uh, person apparently got a color TV set. <laughs> That's how long it lasted. <laughs> but you know what? Bill was absolutely right. It was something very distinctive. People certainly knew what they were watching. Uh, I had always felt, though, that it uh, maybe damaged our credibility just a little bit. And when we finally did move away from them, our audience was built, and we, uh, we became the number one station at 6 o'clock uh, across southwestern Ontario. That was and the promotion. And uh, it must have been <laughs> Reg was the promotion manager at the time. Yeah. But. Jeff, I take it you didn't enjoy wearing one too much. Well, well you know what? I, I, here's the thing about the red jacket, because, you know, you always left it here. And, and uh, yes, you did. I think I, I had mine remarkably now has shrunk in the closet. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I almost hate to admit this, but because I would, you would hang it on you, you would never take it home. Like I don't think I, by the time I left you, the thing was standing on its own. I don't think I ever dry cleaned it. I just and I would always write on it. Like you'd have, you'd end up with 90 pens in it. I didn't. I remember there was a commentator, Dick Smythe referred to us once as oh, journalistic Mounties. That's right. In the Toronto <laughs> Sun. And I, and I, to this day, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But, but he knew who we were. But I'll tell you the other thing is that, for this is for sure, if you'd say, oh, we're from CKCO, and someone would say, or, uh, the, we're the guys that wear the red jackets. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. exactly, I mean, that worked for years. Well, we have a little surprise for you. I told you we'd have surprises on this show. Modeling one of the fine red jackets, yeah. we have Larry Rose, our news director. Yes. Hey. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to have our cake and eat it, too.
<laughs> this is the best thing, is that everyone that I have worked with there, I realized this when I got there about four years ago, is that a lot of them have really strong ties to the community. So coming into the family, you could say, and realizing just all of the ties that people have there really reflects in how well they do the reporting and how well they value every story and, and just the community that we all live in. So I've really noticed that, and I think that's reflected in what we broadcast. Family. Yes, and we Diane was the very first person that welcomed me, so yeah. she's, yes. You did. You. And I remember saying, Cole Nine and Bell, I can't <laughs> say that. 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration will return. Feel like taking the amazing new Dawn Power dish brush out for a spin? We don't blame you, because its powerful action does the work for you. The Dawn dish brush cleans away greasy food and brushes away dried on food without soaking. It reaches hard to reach corners and scrubs away the mess in seconds. The amazing, powerful, new Dawn Power dish brush. Get Dawn and get done. for losing weight, Weight Watchers meetings can help you work toward your goal. It's been proven, people lose three times more weight on Weight Watchers than they do on their own. For a meeting near you, call 1-888-LOSE-WEIGHT and ask about our free little book of big savings. The breathtaking scenery, the exhilarating experience, and the incredible fun. Sundance Balloons wants to take you on a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Your spirits will be instantly lifted as a hot air balloon takes you up into the clouds. A hot air balloon ride is the perfect gift for that hard-to-buy-for person. Local flights are available in Kitchener, Waterloo, and London, so give us a call today or visit our website. Sundance Balloons. We make dreams come true. Summer is the time for sandals, and the Superstore has the perfect pair for the whole family. Comfort, style, and quality. The best brand name sandals at tax-free savings. All at the Superstore. Protect your family and home from the sun with a McDonald awning. Custom manufactured in Kitchener using precision European hardware. Choose your style and color and let McDonald awnings do the rest. Call McDonald awnings for a free estimate or visit our Kitchener showroom. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you by the Shooper Store. For the best brand name sandals, the Shooper Store. Comfort, style, and quality for the whole family. 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration concludes. Here again, Diane Verniel. We hope that you've all enjoyed celebrating 50 years with us. I'd like to call on Bill McGregor to help us cut the cake. Diane, thank you. It's been wonderful to be here and to be with all my good friends. Congratulations, you've done a good job. Well, we want to thank our studio audience for joining us for this celebration, to the CKCO technical crew and everyone else who helped in putting the show together. And for you at home, for watching and supporting us over the years. Good night. tonight who work for the company, I would like to extend our thanks and uh, our appreciation to CKCO and to CTV for offering this wonderful, wonderful evening. There are, <clears throat> I'm getting emotional, there are a million dreams 
in this room tonight, and they've all happened over the last 50 years. And you people made it happen. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, CKCO. It's been a super 50 years. If you enjoyed this walk down memory lane that relived the history, order your copy of 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration. Tapes cost $37, and that includes taxes, postage, and handling. Send your request to 50th Anniversary Show, Post Office Box 91026, Station C, Kitchener, Ontario, N2G 4E9, or email viewer mail at ckco.ca. You can also phone 578-1314, extension 334. Relive the magic of 50 Great Years, a CKCO celebration.